Our Yokozuna is back to doing regular practice bouts, but the rumor among certain insiders is that he still won't be fit to compete. We have a fourth Yokozuna bid for Autumn Champion Takakesho. At least, that's what the committee says. Rank saved by Kirishima last time, but he hopes for a better November score. Not so impressive in training on tour, but doubt not this man's nerves of steel. Dai Esho believes he's back to square one in his years-long push for Ozeki, though you never know what 12 wins could bring. He's won more bouts than anyone else this year, by the way. Wakamoto Haru spends the entire year at Elite Sanyaku rank, having never fought here for a day before that. And Kotonowaka continues to show an Ozeki sense of duty on tour. We assume he'll soon have the rank to match. A big welcome back to Hokuto Fuji to Sanyaku grade for the first time since March 2020. And the first time in front of fans since four months before that. And Abi regains the Komusubi post he gave up in July. But insult is added to the multiple injuries of Asano Yama, denied a Komusubi return by Abi's final day win last time. And falling from the fourth highest rank are hard boiled veteran Nishikigi and ageless monkey Tobizaru. A first winning score in three attempts takes Uda into the traffic jam zone. The same can be said for Shodai, who this time last year was still Ozeki. Gonoyama, who bested Tedono Fuji in last week's tour practice, has improved his rank in every meet this year. Onosho, despite injury mid March, is still in the upper ranks. Tenwin Takayasu returns to the scene of just one of last year's heartbreaks, seeking to complete three meets straight for the first time in 30 months. There's a decent promotion for Midori Fuji, who posted 10 wins last time. Kim Bozan is back on the rise with his neck condition improved. Four winning scores from five this year prove Endo still has it at 33. Eight straight wins transformed Hokuseho's September and take him back near to his career high. Mitake Umi has won just seven times outside of Tokyo this year. Can he at least double that tally while back in the middle ranks? A best showing in two full years sends Miyogiryu higher again. And Atami Fuji's breakout September is duly rewarded on this chart. The hardest foolers, you won't be surprised, are 13 lost Tamawashi, who turns 39 mid meet, and Hakuoho, who won't return until the new year. Dropping with him into the second tier are far more names than usual. Dai Shoho after his joint lowest score, Kagayaki for the fourth time in just two years, Chiyoshoma after his poorest score ever, Koto Shoho who is without a winning score since his January title push, and Aoyama for just the second time since 2011. Nishiki Fuji, with the same 5-10 score, is spared the drop by his extra half rung. Replacing the fallen sextet are this two-time second tier champion. Tomokaze, after four years away and on the very ring which ruined him. And four men making their top flight bows. Roga after a promising tour. Kitanowaka, the chairman's prize pupil. 
Tohaku Ryu, now undisputed head wrestler at Tamanoe Stable. And Okinawa born Chudanomi, whose prayers have clearly come to fruition. Narrowly missing out then, our last November's second tier champion. And the man who lost his top flight berth in July. Shimazu Umi, overtaken by stablemate Ichiyamamoto, lines up his first shot at Division 1. Shishi of Ukraine, inspired by his amateur colleagues, hopes to keep improving his rank. While September's divisional runner-up receives a pretty significant boost. There are also new personal bests for Ono Sato's long-term colleague Takahashi. And Hakuho student Ten Shoho, who recently held his promotion bash. Takasago Stable's Asakoryu, though, lost eight bouts last time and retains his pay by a whisker. Leaving the salaried region are Haku Yozan for the first time this year, Kiho, who's been injured in each of the past three meets, and half year absentee Wakataka Kage, who finally looks set to return. They've been replaced, as I think you know, by elevator fighter Yuma, who was last here in July, aging Hidenomi, and second tier newbie Hitoshi. In Division 3, top contenders for promotion this time, assuming anyone drops from above, are Takeru Fuji, who would have gone up had he beaten uni teammate Hitoshi last time. Toji Musashi, after the record worst follow up to a second tier title. Fukai, back in the uppermost ranks for the first time in 20 months. Koto Tebakari, at a new career high. Osho Umi, after seven straight winning scores. Otsuji, who back in 2019 vowed to make salaried level by March 2024. Kisenosato's student Kaio, who has never been this high. Asashiyu, a year on from his fifth tier title winning comeback. And surprisingly, Jinku singer Kitadaichi, a year after he helped lift a truck from a Kyushu ditch. Meanwhile, Asahakuryu's meteoric rise continues. And last term's winner of Division 4, Kitaharima, rebounds to Upper Division 3 at the tender age of 37. As for other fighters you may know, Kyokutaisei pursues a 7th successive winning score post-comeback. Hakuho Cup star Satoru Fuji reaches Division 3 and is joined there by veteran Amakaze and his four straight winning scores. And also by other ex-salaried man Asano Waka, who is finally on the mend. But windmill thruster Tochimaru slides to Division 4 after missing all of September, and the same fate befalls Enho, who is certainly out of November. Former boat twirler Shaw Horyu has won 11 from his past 14. Giant Dewa no Jo has changed the spelling of his first name to include the character Rise after three straight losing scores. Fellow giant Ken Ho is back in Division 5 after 6 and 1 in the bottom tier last time. And Moriyurara hopes to conquer his September injury and avoid a 25th successive losing score.